And we've all seen footage of pilots ejecting from planes, even if it's in fictional movies like Top Gun. But how exactly does an ejector seat work? Ejecting from a plane is something that is only ever done in an emergency, and it happens extremely quickly. Depending on the configuration of the plane, there is a handle either between the pilot's legs or on either side of the seat. Once the handle is pulled, an electric impulse triggers a sequence of events that all take place in way less than a second. First, either the hatch is thrust open and rotated out of the pilot's way, or the canopy is blown clean off depending on the plane. Then then an explosive cartridge beneath the pilot's chair ignites to catapult their entire chair up a rail and out of the plane. Sensors measure the ambient air pressure to determine the pilot's altitude. If they're too high up, the parachute will delay opening, and instead a drogue will open to prevent the chair from spinning uncontrollably. Once at an altitude with thick enough air to breathe, the parachute will open, causing the seat to fall away so that the pilot can descend safely. 